You want to ditch your homework? Go catch a movie at the mall? Maybe Grandma wants to join us. Yeah, let's just leave the dishes and go. No, I'd better study. <laughs> what am I going to do with her? You all done? Yeah. Thanks for dinner, Grandma. I'll leave that, honey. I'll clean up. You go study. I'll be upstairs. Too late, I heard you. Tell me. All right, then. You just nod your head yes or no, okay? Are you crying about your dad? I know you miss him, honey. But you're going to visit him soon. And it's not your fault. He's gone. But it is. It is. All of it is my fault, Grandma. Everything that's happened. Oh, honey, why would you want to feel like that? I don't want to feel it. It's true. <laughs> Everything is horrible. It's my fault. Oh, well, not everything. You and your mother have gotten closer. <laughs> That's only because she doesn't know. Know what? What, baby? <laughs> that I killed Simon. Oh, Clea. I killed Simon. It's my fault that he's dead. I talked him into writing, and then I made him race me, which he didn't even want to do, but I made him. And then that ball that Simon fell, and it was because of me. No, it's not your fault. It was an accident. Can kill him. Can't carry that with you. Oh, Clea, my sweet Clea. Why did you keep that in all this time? <laughs> oh, Mama. I am so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay, baby. You okay? Right here. Thanks for the hay, Oz. I appreciate it. No problem. Iris and I are glad that you decided not to sell the farm. You know, I've lived my whole life next to your family. It just wouldn't be the same. No, nothing will ever be the same, Oz. Simon's death saw to that. He took him away. Now it's taken away Neil. You're laying that weight on Simon's shoulders. Let that poor boy rest in peace. What are you saying? You heard me. I spoke plain enough. Don't blame your marriage problems on the dead boy. Your marriage had just as many problems while he was alive. Now, you just 
Hold on a minute. Now listen to me. I don't claim to know everything that goes on between a man and a woman. But turn the clock back to that last day before the accident. Now you tell me I'm wrong. I'll just be a minute. Take your time. I can pick up the pills, too. No, Mother, I won't forget. All right. Bye-bye. Hello, Nora. You've made the place look nice. Didn't change a thing. You haven't been here in a while. Do you hear from Neil? Practically every day. He calls to check on clients, see how I'm getting along. Does he ask about us? Of course. Why do you think he's really calling? Well, that's when Neil got the award from the Chamber of Commerce. Oh, I've forgotten about that. You weren't there. You were busy that day. Hmm. So how is he doing? Is he doing okay up there? How okay do you think he could be without his family? You don't like me much, do you? Not much. But I like Neil. And I want what's best for him. I don't think he's going to be able to get over Simon's death without your help. Socks and stuff. You know, that's for that. I've seen my socks. It's nice. Especially the artwork. Glad you like it. 